Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. In this video, I'm balancing a rotor from an electric motor. That kind of rhyme, didn't it? Let me show you the rotor first. Okay, so this is the assembly. This comes from an electric motor. She runs inside the electric motor in the stator. And um, the customer is complaining that the motor is getting warm, so I have got to put this on the machine just to see if this is unbalanced which can also contribute to the motor heating up all right let's crack on all right guys also the first thing i must do in order to carry on is i must do all the measurements i must capture all the measurements of the rotor and input that in the computer in order to carry on let's do that first yeah <laughs> Okay guys, so after capturing all this, which you saw, you can see uh, I didn't show you that, but uh, I waited prior to capturing all this data. This thing weighed 89 and a half kilograms, so she's actually quite, quite heavy, eh? Okay, so my next move now is to grab a tape measure and I'll measure the rotor to find the distance between the, the rollers so I can set the machine up and then I'll set the machine up. Now that the machine is set up and the rotor is actually on the machine, I'm going to scrape some of that paint off. It doesn't look too good. Okay, so I had to change the belt because the one I've been working with was too short. Okay, so she's all lubed up, she's patted up, she's sprayed, she's ready to go. I'm going to do the ABC measurements on the machine now, and then I'll start balancing. Enjoy this video, guys. Thank you. 
Let's just do this comparison. This side seems to be qualified, which is 5 grams at 156. This side unqualified it, 29 grams at 34. So it was actually quite out of balance on this side. It's unqualified. Okay, let's see if I can bring it to the centers. Okay, so it's 29 grams on this side that's showing unbalanced five grams on this side which says it is balanced but i'll try to get it a bit closer so let's just concentrate on this side first so i must go to 34 degrees and i'll have to just turn this here okay so this is a mass that i need to take off but because this is aluminium i'll have to take off quite a bit so i'll add a mass opposite to that degree so i made this thing up i'm going to weigh it now quickly and uh, Okay, 29.44 and I must actually add on 29.39 so this is actually a bit too heavy but I can always grind on here and that I'm gonna put opposite to to my mark which actually comes on to this existing weight here so yeah I'm gonna drill through that weight see what happens okay so I drilled that all there so I'm going to tap this now out so that I can bolt bolt that plate on here and then we'll see what the result is okay so after mounting this block I needed to take off 7.26 which was actually over here now I'm going to add a block over here so I drilled it and now I'm just tapping it out all right guys so with numerous attempts I drilled a hole there first of all as you can see there and then I mounted this bolt to add weight on this side I added this weight here I added that weight which I had to grind a little bit then I added that bolt and I drilled there it was actually quite out of balance so i'm not surprised that that um she ran out it's all below one gram which is cool i printed it so i'll just show you the print out quickly okay so here's the comparison electric rotor you can see this is when it was five grams at 156 which was actually which is actually passed but i wanted to bring it down to less this side was 29 grams at 34 after all the adding, I got it down to 0 0.61 at 70 and 0 0.98, so it's less than a gram at 163, which is good to go. 
Okay, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. In the ideal world, it is always better to make something lighter than making it heavier. I was quite skeptical about adding weight to it, but in this case, I had to add weight because the rotor assembly was mainly under aluminium. And because aluminium weighs so little, to get 29 grams off, which was the unqualified mass in the beginning, to get that off would have meant that I had to take off quite a bit of of aluminium which would have been impossible to do on this rotor I'd have messed this whole rotor up so adding weight was the best so yeah I got it to what it was which is less than a gram which I regard as good it was it was almost 30 grams out plus four it's almost like 34 grams out of mass which was quite quite bad so yeah that's that's a rotor done guys I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did give us a thumbs up don't forget, to don't forget to hit the notification bell, not to miss out on any other videos, and subscribe, comment if you wish. Until the next one, cheers for now guys.